Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I wanted to talk about submodules with GitLab. In a previous tutorial, I created some submodules in Git. However, I did it all locally. I did it just with init commands and linking a couple of local repositories, repositories together. And for the most part, people will probably be creating submodules using GitLab or GitHub. So I wanted to do a tutorial to show you how you could actually create submodules from two separate independent projects from GitLab and then create that submodule dependency between the two of them. So uh, hold on and that's what we'll go through here. I'll show you how to create submodules in GitLab. So as you can see, I've got two repositories that I want to use in this GitLab project. I've got the Surface repository and I've got the Submarine repository. The Surface repository has one file in it actually has two files in it, one called frigate.html and one called destroyer.html. That's part of my surface defense. And I also want to have a submodule, a repository that's separate, but also something that I'll commonly work on when I work on the surface defense. And that's going to be my submarine defense. And see, I've got one nuclear submarine right in this submarine defense project here. And so I want to make submarine a submodule of the surface defense. So how do we go and do that? So I've got a folder called git example here. I'm going to open up the terminal. I've got the git bash terminal here. And I guess the first step is just to clone that surface repository. So I get the option to use an HTTPS clone. I will do that, git clone, cd into that directory. And when we do the ls, you can see I now got the destroyer and the frigate file in there. Okay, so that's fantastic. I've now cloned my repository. But I'd like to make this project, this submarine, a submodule. So I'm going to get the clone URL. So I've highlighted the clone URL, copied it there. And from git, I'm going to go git submodule add and then put in that URL. And you're going to notice a couple of things happen here. If I do a ls command, you'll see I've got the submarine folder. If I do an ls-a, you'll see that there's a hidden file called .git modules that was added. And if you don't believe that it was just added, I can do a git status and git status tells me, hey, there's a new file called git modules. So I've now made that submarine project a submodule. Good idea to add those new files, that new project. Indicate that we've added that submodule, and there we go, Bob is your uncle. Okay, so now how do we actually use these projects? So looking in my surface defense, I've got a destroyer and a frigate. Maybe we'll add a tugboat in there as well. Add that, git commit dash m, add the tug. And of course, we've got our submarines as well. So why don't I move into that submarines folder? I've got a nuclear submarine. Why don't I add a jia.html? I think that's a Chinese class submarine. And now we've got that added. Now, one of the things to note is if I take a look at the log, you'll notice that, oh, geez. There we go. You'll notice that on the submodule, on the submarine submodule, I've got the initial commit, add the new file, and then add Gia class sub. However, that's completely separate from the parent module. So notice that I don't have any reference to add submodule or anything like that here. So the list of commits for this module is completely separate from what's in the parent. I think the parent might actually have something called add new file just because that's a default commit message that GitLab puts in there when I created one of the files. But notice if that's the commit ID there, 3.5. If I go to the parent,
you notice that it's got a whole different set of commits. And as I mentioned, there's the same name there, but you see that's D5. The other one was started with a number 35. So it's a different commit, although the same message. But you can see here, yeah, now I've got the a whole different set of commits for the surface module. And so they're really kept separate. They're they're kept separate from, from one another. They really are two separate repositories. However, here's something to think about. Notice that I've added the gia.class file to the submarines project, and I've added the destroyer.html, or no, I added the tug.html to the surface project. What do you think would happen if I did a git push origin? And really the question is, would it push both of those projects to GitLab or would it just push one of them? And again, I'm doing this from the Surface project, not the Submarine project. Well, let's take a look. Uh, so I know that I've added tug.html to the Surface project. It's not there currently. As you can see, I've only got Destroyer and Frigate, but if I do a refresh, you notice that that tug is in there. So the tug has been added. Now, as we know, in our submarine folder, we've done a commit with zia.html. With that push that I just did that pushed up all of the files into the surface project, do you think they're pushed up with submarine? Well, let's do a refresh. Do we see zia.html? And no, no, we don't. And again, that's because those are separate projects. Now, if I go git push origin from the submarine project, and I come over to GitLab, I do a little refresh here. You notice that I now have it, so that proves out the fact that each module, each submodule, is being treated as a, a separate independent repository. Uh, by the way, one of the things that is kind of interesting is you notice that in the Surface module, we've actually got this kind of interesting little folder here that indicates that the Surface project actually has a submodule in it, and that Submarine is a submodule. So if I click on that, you can actually see a little bit of that information there. It takes me right to that Submarine module itself. But that's kind of a, an interesting manifestation of adding that module, that now that we see the Surface project, you can actually see in the project, there is indeed a reference to the submodule called Submarine. And there you go. That's how you work with submodules in GitLab. So that's how easy it is to create submodules in GitLab. By the way, I got a couple of tutorials on how to delete submodules and also how to clone a repository that has submodules in it. It's not as straightforward as you might think. So if you want to learn more, uh, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ, promote my tutorials over there. Um, but of course, head over to the server side. That's where all of these tutorials are hosted and you'll find plenty more information on Git, GitLab, and everything about server side development.